everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Doboot Sentai Juoja review for you today. And this is the Juo Cube Weapon Cube Kirin. Uh, Kirin being the Japanese word for giraffe. So these guys don't have numbers because they just have an exclamation point. I believe there's going to be more than one uh, weapon cube animal. So they're just called Juo Cube Weapons. Uh, but this box is super tiny. It's adorable. Just for fun because I happen to have one handy. Here is a Lego minifigure for comparison. It's really, I mean, it's, you know, maybe two or three minifigures tall. So I think that's hilarious. But in any case, you can see a nice picture of the Kirin or giraffe on the front. I'm probably just going to call him giraffe for the rest of the review. Here he is on the side. Again on the side. Really not much going on in the back. That's a pretty cool picture there on the bottom though. I like that. All right, so without further ado, we'll bust this guy out of the packaging. There's the top, sorry. And we'll take a closer look. All right, so here is Cube Giraffe out of the packaging. As you can see, he's very tiny. Again, bringing in a Lego minifigure for size comparison. He is almost as tall as the minifigure in Cube mode. So very tiny. But I love the, like, 8-bit exclamation point. Really reminds me, like, something from Super Mario Bros. 3 or something like that. I really like it. Uh, transformation, very simple. Fold them in half. Fold this part out. And then you fold the head out two clicks. And I will zoom out here. So there is our cube giraffe. I love him. I know he's got kind of a giant barrel hanging from under his mouth, but... I love that they painted them on both sides. I really appreciate that. The spots look great. The silver looks great. You can see his tall legs. I think he's fantastic. I'll get a little bit closer on the head so you can see that. Nice painted eyes. The front of his head is painted. He just looks great. He's a great little figure. I just think he's a lot of fun. Um, transforming him into his weapon mode. You literally click the head one time. And there's the bazooka. He's going to hold it in this hand. He's got another little peg here, which will clip onto the arm, which we'll take a look at. So that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and show how he combines with Juo King. So just real quick before I show him working with Juo King, I just want to show there's obviously a large size discrepancy. This is a normal size cube. This is a weapon cube. Obviously much smaller. Technically... You could clip them on this clip up here if you wanted to. I believe this clip on the side is where he's going to clip when they have him in the Juo Wild or Juo King Wild. Because you can see there's a little clip here and there's a little hole here. So if you line these up, it just kind of clips on the side like that. And I can show that off better. Let's go ahead and get Juo King back in here. There we go. Pop his head back on. So zoom out a bit here. Alright, so basically you get him into weapon mode again. And you can see there's a little notch right there. That's where the kind of little, little square piece is going to sit when you peg the rest of this into his hand. Just to give it a little bit more cohesion. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just has a uh, large bazooka. You can click it up one clip. And there you go. He is ready to fire. He looks pretty good. I like that a lot. I think the weapon looks great. Go ahead and fire off his giant bazooka. Literally just rests on there. You can just pick it right back up. Unpeg it from his hand. Very simple. And then just to show again, I think you leave the head. It might even clip it back like this. I'm not sure. Now, obviously, it's going to be, it's going to clip on here, but this won't be in the way. Uh, I guess he has to go. He has to go on this side, going how the clips line up. But again, this piece won't be here, so can't clip it on right now. But yeah. I love the way, I love the giraffe, and I love the way he works as a bazooka. And then for Juo, I think it's Wild Juo King is what the, all six cubes merge together. And then this guy will clip right here on the side down there. So I gotta say, he's definitely a very simple little cube animal. 
but that doesn't stop me from loving him as much as I love the rest of them. I'm just having a great time with Jew Oger so far. The designs are just really quirky and fun. I love the cube animals. And the great thing about this guy is, yes, he is smaller, but he's only like 5 to $7 before shipping, depending on where you pick him up. So he's totally worth it. He's a great little cube animal to add to your collection, and he... You know, he's going to work as a weapon for Juo King, and he's going to have combination functionality with uh, Wild Juo King. He's great. I definitely recommend him. If you're collecting the cube animals so up till now, definitely grab this guy. He's a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Juo Cube Weapon Cube Kitten, or Cube Giraffe, from Dobutsentai Juoger. And thanks for watching.